and I have just said goodbye to the last of my family. Um, everybody was visiting, of course, and uh, so now here we are with the new year and to take a look at Hut 8 Mining. Boom. There we go. This is what I call the free money trade. Um, you know, this is worth a lot right from that 81 cents down to the 78 cents here that we had. And I call this a free money trade for a specific reason. Um, you know, I could usually pinpoint, uh, you know, stocks, uh, cryptos, doesn't really matter what it is, um, turning events. And this is one of them right down here. And the minimum target is going to yield 25% and above. And um, even the mid 50% range and above here at the main target. Uh, I believe that everything that you saw in this move right here uh, was going to cause a reversal and send us at the very least to here uh, short term. Um, so it's a very safe trade in this type of trade when I locate them. Um, you know, I point them out and uh, we saw the last one uh, that uh, uh, traded that was similar to this, but it was a crypto. Uh, this is just a stock. So let's go over and take a look at that one. And if we remember this guy right here, here's a, where's the one there? Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. This is pulled all the way back, but it went up to its targets in the, the $2 range and the 193 and this was from, um, if you remember, uh, in the 160, anything under 170, uh, anywhere down here was a great buying opportunity. In the mid 166, I believe, around there. And it surely went up, and it went up very quickly too. It didn't take very long uh, to get to that target. So getting back to where we are with HUT, um, HUT is in the same boat. Um, it's just more elongated. Uh, the pattern is defined right here, and you can't really see it because the geometry is off with the move that went under here, right? And not all patterns are geometri geometrically sound, uh, but they still have the same rhythm. You know, if it plays the same beat and has the same tune and, you know, um, tempo, you, you have to go with it and so forth. And, a lot of patterns get broken symmetry, and there's a reason for that. And that's what makes them a good trade. And we can see the move that we're having on HUD 8 here. And it's just broken above the 90 cent range. And uh, yeah, it's a, it was a great buy at around 81 to 78 cents. And to me, it's a free money trade. There's no thinking about it or nothing. This is just free money. And um, uh, it should get to this target pretty quickly. Uh, but that's up to it. That's not up to me. That's up to the market. Uh, we'll see what happens with it, but that's what I'm looking for. Uh, other than that, there's not really much going on. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's bounced back a little bit. It's so oversold that it would, it's not odd for it to, to even be doing this. Uh, if we take a look at it. We can see. I still believe we'll get down movement in the future, but we're probably going to have to wait for some news or something to come into effect because I've got a 20% hedge from the 18K. And I've been very active in trading this site. A 50% hedge down here, which I bought back here. Then I bought more and then sold it up here at 18K. Then bought it again at 15,800. So 15,800 is my key point. Um, and my secondary point, if we trade to here a third time, it's going to be that 14,052 uh, or 56, 56 I think it is. But anyway, in the $14,050 range um, uh, would be the next target down. And that's if we trade back to here, which is likely that we will. Uh, doesn't mean we won't get to 18K and maybe even higher. 
but at some point we should pull back and get to the 15,800 um, and that 14,050 at the very least. This is a major pivot point down here. This is, um, these are in between points. Um, your next real bigger point is up here at that 21K range. And that's where we are right now. It's, we're just meandering in the middle, bouncing around um, with Bitcoin. Now with Ethereum, kind of the same thing. Um, Ethereum is a little bit more positive in the sense of its range. It's not congested in the low $1,200, $1,200 12, $1, range. My God, my brain's done. <laughs> Uh, the 1200 range, uh, it, it uh, is broken above here, so that's positive for the overall market. And uh, its resistance resides right around that 13, 50, 40, 50 area. And um, then its support goes all the way back down to the 1K uh, in this area down here. Um, so we'll see what happens with it. I don't expect much. Um, XRP. Volume-wise, it's starting to look interesting. Uh, I think there's some information or something that we're not uh, being told because I'm seeing on different exchanges, it's getting some uh, interest and so forth. So we'll see if there's news coming out on it. Um, so that should be interesting. Uh, Solitana has made a bounce back. It had this, you know, uh, but I'm not touching the alt points again. Remember what I said. Um, I, I basically uh, didn't make that much from them. I made a little bit because of the fact that I had some big gains on certain ones, but I had losses on others. So uh, I just said the heck with it. It's too too much to follow the the uh, a lot of these coins because uh, they they're been under attack and there's so much contagion from the Sam Bankman Freed and FTX that it's just a it's an ugly show right now and I don't really want to get involved in uh, trading them but I will note technical opportunities if I see certain patterns arise and whatnot I'll talk about them and see what happens uh, just basically watch them just like I did with uh, uh, this one over here, but this is strictly a trade. You know, this one right here, which is the one that's um, akin to our our current HUD eight. This was our trade that we had over here, which was a great buy in the mid one sixty range, and then it ran all the way up to the one ninety three and two eleven marks over here, which were good exit points, and it yielded a very nice return in a very short period of time. If you can make 20 uh, uh, to 50% returns in a matter of days uh, and you find trades like that, you're going to do okay. You only need a few of those a year. <laughs> um, so to find trades like this, uh, that's what I'm really focused on right now. And this was a, a great trade and it was one that I gave you before it happened. Uh, there was plenty of time. As you can have seen, I talked about this when it was probably around around here, maybe even that area. So how long did we wait for that to go? We didn't wait very long. It was only a matter of a few days, like three or four days, I believe. And then whoosh, we uh, went all the way up here. I think it was the 18th or 17th I spoke about this and said it was free money. And indeed, it was. It was definitely free money. It did that. And if we go right back to our HUD 8, this is also, again, free money. Whereas what I do, and when I see a stock, I really go, I, I let people I know know. And uh, they will take the ride with me. And Blue Horseshoe says he likes something. Um, there's a reason for it. But anyway, it was a good trade, and you can see it's making its way. And, um, you know, there's no volume for these guys to cover on, and that's why I put in the little short panic, you know, thing in there. And very easy to see. I'm going to be scanning around the, the markets. 
I will have a bunch of videos out this week now that I have time. I don't have any distractions, no family or holiday stuff to, to deal with. So we'll do some educational stuff and I'll produce probably more videos than normal simply because I have the time now. And I'll probably have more trades than normal as well because I'm going to be really focused on seeing what I can find out there to make some bank um, in the marketplace. Uh, this, my favorite trade for the new year. So we'll see how it turns out. And if you remember helium, uh, helium happened very quickly. So how many days are we in on this one? I talked about this on what? Uh, last year on the 28th or I believe it was or 27th something like that when did I start talking I think this one right here but anyway um, you can see how it's going right here 92 cents yeah shorts are gonna start to freak and uh, I was asked a question where would you how do you you know sell and so forth well, my minimum target, I might do 50%, and then my uh, main target, another 50%. And so one way to, to do it. You can scale out as you get to your numbers um, is usually what I do, depending on where they are located and how I feel about them and so forth. Um, but this minimum target right here is an over 25% return. So there you go. Um, Anyway, a uh, few other ones that I wanted to focus on. We have Tesla. People were asking me about that. Nothing to do with Tesla. You know, it still has plenty of room to the downside here. Um, short term, it could get a move. But, again, it's so close to its uh, downside numbers. And the news on it is not generally that good. Uh, so... I would just be waiting. I think we're going to hit that 88.6, which is in the mid to where's that round? I believe it's around 46, 47, somewhere in there. Let's go back here. 47, yeah. Is it's 88.6, so I believe we're going to get down there. Um, but this is a, a stock that's had a lot, a lot of faith, and you know, you might get people interested. Well. With the, the way the economic situation is right now, um, they're due for a hit. And you can see the volume, right? The volume's expanded on it. It's not contracted, it's expanded. So um, that's a sign of uh, more weakness to come in the future on Tesla. Anyway, it's, it's pulled back a, a decent amount. Uh, silver, silver is still doing its thing, staying around that 24. I believe we'll get one more pullback to the 21 and under area down here. But ultimately, I'm looking for higher numbers in the future. If you're not interested in the short term, then, you know, numbers that go all the way back to 36 and even higher, all the way up to the $50 range, are to come in the future. That's the key word, in the future. But uh, silver's always treated us well and uh, it has a great history and a lot of manipulation luckily thanks to people like JP Morgan um, they're not they can't do very much they're they're banks and uh, they're easy to follow and you make money off the elements just because they knock everything down um, so that's what I would be looking for in the future you know that's what I'm looking at and uh, other than that um, you know Let's see, another one I saw that was acting really nice was Cardano. It's gotten a lot of more interest here. Uh, this is helping prop up the market. If it's able to break this zone, but this is resistance right here. So let's draw that right there. This area right here, let's make it a box. Let's make it a box right here. It's kind of its resistance zone. So I wouldn't expect too much from this. But if we get a breakout above here, we can get numbers that go all the way up to this uh, 29 cent range pretty quickly. You know, this is not 
out of the realm of possibility, but short term here is where your resistance would lie because it's so narrow compared to for this over here. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. But if we're able to take this out, you can get momentum that goes all the way up to the 29 cent. And you might think that's a lot, but it's really not on a percentage basis um, because it's this has been very oversold. And uh, this is one of the top coins, just like uh, uh, Litecoin over here, which has made a nice comeback as well. Um, it's actually ahead of its curve. Uh, people start saying to themselves, I want to go back into the coins that aren't old coins, but are more of the old school, stable coins. And it's not a bad idea in actuality. And I see a lot more of that occurring. Uh, people want the stable, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, XRP, Litecoin. Um, these are the, the top ones. So anyway, um, I'm going to hit the road and I will update you. The next one's going to be on the exchanges. And I'll come up with a few videos. I've got plenty of time now. Um, other than that, we'll be watching HUD. It keeps moving slowly but surely to the upside can't find any sellers here <laughs> so it's just ticking upwards here um, kind of anemic volume but that's not to be unexpected because of the fact that who's gonna sell at these prices down here and it's gonna be very small amounts uh, you know so your volume over here Oh, there we go, 9350. See, there's no sellers. So they have nothing that they can nothing they can do. They have to up their their numbers to get any volume at all. And geez, I could be on this all day just watching it move. Showing you real time how it goes. But anyway, um, video's done. I will update you the next one on the exchanges that I think are the best to you know, hold crypto and a trade in, um, and uh, we'll go from there. Other than that, have a great week, and I will talk to you guys again soon.